Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Mars First Logistics. So in this game, you're a little Mars rover. Look, look at the graphics. And yeah, as we drive around, look, we leave little tracks. We leave a little dust cloud. Yeah, you can do like donuts to get the old dust clouds up. But you have to remember, because we're on Mars, we have to drive very efficiently. We can't just waste our fuel. We've only got a certain amount of electronics and movement and stuff. But yeah, we have our first contract that's just come to us. So if we press tab, we can go into the map view uh, where you can manage your contracts and plan your deliveries. So our first contract is is to deliver a watering can. <laughs> <laughs> but yep, you can see if we head to that, that's where the watering can will be. So it will just drive over to the watering can. Yep, there it is. Oh no, I just knocked it over. I just knocked it over. Anyway, you might be thinking, well, Matt, how how are, we, how are you going to move that? Are you just going to rocket league it? No, no, no. That's where this game gets very interesting. If we press V, <gasps> here you can modify your vehicle. So there's loads of different parts that you can stick together and stuff. There's also these blueprints. So we're just going to use this to start just to show you how the game works. Now, this this first blueprint is called a watering can lifter. How convenient. So there it is being built. And uh, basically we can we can move that up and down. Because can you see it's got like a little part with the with the yellow arrows on? That means it's a movable part. So I can I can do that. So let's just open this. Oh, I'm actually, I've just realized. I was probably meant to leave the watering can upright. Oh, let's see how this gets on anyway. I'm sort of thinking if we can sneak it in there and then drive forward and lift it up. Nice. We've got the watering can. We've got the watering can. Right, where are we going? Oh, back that, that other way, the other way back. Um... Hmm. Thankfully, the game's just reminded me I can hold R to reset my vehicle. Uh, sadly, that doesn't reset our cargo, so we do have to try and pick that up again. So we'll come around this side, get that under there, lift her up. Here we go. Right, calm down a bit, Matt. So we've got to head to that yellow HUD marker, um, and we just we can just admire the scenery. I mean, I love I love cell shaded graphics, like this sort of proper cartoony art style. It's incredible, and fair play. Like the physics are really good in this game. Like, look at the watering can. It's proper like bobbing about as I move. Um, oh god. <laughs> oh, blooming rocks. Anyway, best not to get distracted by the scenery, but uh, we've picked this up. We've just got to head over to here, which looks like a it looks like a little garden, doesn't it? What are they growing in there? Are they oranges? It looks like they're growing oranges. All right, anyway, we have a new contract. We've got to go get a crate from the storage depot. So that's over there. I'm currently here. And you can see it's all like it's all like contoured. So you can see like if you had to go like over that way, because these lines are close together, that means it's a steep hill. Yeah, so yeah, we're going to have to make a range of different vehicles to cope with the terrain as well as the cargo that we're picking up. Anyway, we're heading straight ahead. Let's try and can we use this rock to do a jump? Oh my goodness, not really. That is the, the one downside with these sorts of graphics. It's hard to tell like how steep things are. Anyway, we have arrived. Where is the crate? Oh, the crate's up there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to build something to get up to it. All right. So what I'm thinking, I probably... Let's get rid of everything from there below. So we've got that arm poking up. What pieces do we have? What's that? A hydraulic cylinder. Yeah. Okay. Let's wang a couple of them on. So we've got two hydraulic cylinders. Then, then I think we want one of those. And then in order to get the orientation back to normal, we can rotate these. So if I do a bit of that. Yeah, that's now facing forward which is good so i'm gonna shove tell you what actually i could just shove another one on that side and then with the servo motor i think i want to shove that on top and then on this side one of them and then i assume i just want to claw like that and then another one there so there we have it now you can see we're not quite tall enough but you can switch between like which part you actually control and basically you just have your left mouse and your right mouse that do the opposite things. So if I do right click, that's going up to sort of the right height. I think I will just move around to this side. Oh god, we're a bit top heavy. We are a bit top heavy. Let's bring that back in. There we go. Upright ourselves. So raise to the right height, which I think is about there. Then we'll switch our movable part, not to that one, but to that one. And then we can open it like that. Nice. We can drive like that. It's a a little bit wobbly. It is on quite a long pole. Yeah, but then we can close the claw. Decent. And then we're going to have to go up again. Now, thankfully, I've got another hydraulic. So if I just switch to that one, we can say go up a little bit. And then we'll drive back. And then we'll just bring them back down, I guess. Nice. And then we'll see, can we can we drive back without flipping this thing and without crashing into any rocks or anything? Now, that shadow just scared the crap out of me. Is that is that the sun? What's going on? Are there clouds? I think there's clouds coming in. That was really scary. I thought there was like an alien above me or something. Anyway, let's get this 
to the orange factory stat. Oh, look over there. It's like a factory with like a chimney and stuff. Anyway, there we go. We have delivered. Oh, and look, we've unlocked a blueprint and another contract. They've also noticed there's funds down the bottom. So basically in, in this parts thing, uh, we can actually choose to buy like more of these. If we press F, they've all got a price. Oh man, hydraulics are expensive. 175. Holy moly. Anyway, let's see what our blueprint is. So we've got, oh, a crate carrier. So that looks like that. That's pretty cool. So yeah, let's build one of those and then we gotta accept this new contract so crate of oranges yes oh we pick it up from the greenhouse where we are and then we gotta deliver it over that way now looking at the contours there's like no there's no lines in the way so it should be a pretty flat journey so let's go pick them up so what have we what controls do we have on this we've got that move up and down so we want to start low and then pick it up and then that to oh to go wider and narrower okay so we'll just park ourselves up to there close that and then give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a lift. Nice. Now we've got <laughs> now we've got a crate of oranges. This is so random. Wouldn't the oranges like die or something because there's no oxygen on the planet? Don't know. Guess we'll find out though. Anyway, let's head over this way because we've got this is where we gotta deliver it. I wonder what's what is over here. <gasps> what the there's Martians! There's Martians! Are they actual people? They're moving. You're right, mate. I got you some oranges. Right, dude. Oh, he's flying. Why are you flying? Land in my orange box. <laughs> I promise. I promise they're not your head. They're not the heads of other Martians that I found. All right, what about your mates? Do you want some of these? Oh, they dodging out the way. They're dodging out the way of me. Have you heard about my reckless driving style? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> oh, flag physics. The game is flag physics. That's like one of my favorite things in games. Flag physics. <laughs> <laughs> Boing. Oh, man. Flag physics for the win. Right, where am I actually dropping these oranges? Over that way. So, plonk them over here. Sorted. I think we've... Oh, look, they're building it. I think they're workers. I was giving them, like, you know, like how footballers get, like, a slice of orange in, at half time. I think that's what I've done. Oh, man, this is cool. I want to know, can I run these guys over? Oh, they're so quick. They are so quick. They're watching my every move. Ready? Oh, he's so quick. All right, okay. Okay, we got to put this to the test then question is how close can we go until they notice me All right so he's down there how close can i get oh okay so about there okay got it got it All right well i've got a i got a sneaky plan let's let's do a bit of building so we'll delete that we'll delete the bumper we don't want that and then we're gonna add a load of these to the front and then a load of hydraulics <laughs> and then a load of those oh no there's a limit oh no my rod is too long. That is not words I ever thought I'd hear. Okay, well, anyway, this this will have to do for now. So what I want to know, can I can I prod him? Because <laughs> he's bent over. I'm like, I, I promise I'm not going to probe you, mate. But how close can I get? I feel like he's he's a bit twitchy, like the closer I get. Anyway, sneaking up, sneaking up. He's definitely, he hasn't seen me. He definitely hasn't seen me. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. Okay, so I got to I got to about there. Now, thankfully, our tracks are there. So hopefully, I can just go to like pretty much the same spot. All right, and now we will extend towards this guy's buttocks. <laughs> oh, no, that even, that set him off. So if I bring it back in. Oh, no. They're wise. They're wise to my tricks. Okay, anyway, look, it's, it's blooming nighttime. It's nighttime on Mars. Anyway, let's accept this steel beam thing. Where the hell? Oh, blooming hell. That's quite a long way away. Okay, we got to go. We got to go collect that. So with both of our things extended, let's go. Die. Oh, I'm definitely not going to joust them. Oh, my goodness. That is, that is a cliff. That is a cliff. Head this way, Matt. Look how long this thing is. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, oh. Let's hit a rock head on. Right, I've switched to the basic rover. I want to have a little... I want to see how good it is, like, going up these hills and stuff. This is, like, a proper cliff. Oh, it's got the power. Oh, so much air. Please don't die. Oh, we actually don't die. That's cool. Now I'm going in reverse because I'm technically backwards. Oh, now I'm forward. Look at that turn map. Right, so trying to scout my way back. I'm guessing I just want to go the actual the sensible route and not come up all these mountains and stuff. But uh, here we are. We have arrived at this... Oh, it's a... Steel mill. We've got to pick up that. Oh my goodness. Look how big it is. I feel like a lot of this video is going to be taken out of context. What if we start with this? Because I feel like more wheels will probably mean more power, maybe. Um, then we just got to think, how the hell are we going to pick this thing up? I mean, actually, do I have any... I don't have any wheels. How much do wheels cost? Oh, they cost 200. I've only got 150. Okay, maybe that's not going to work now. I was thinking about, like, making a conveyor belt so it would, like, go onto my middle. I mean, I guess I still technically could. If I remove those wheels, then if I sort of build that 
back and shove a wheel there, then I just need like a way of lifting the beam onto that wheel at one end. So I guess I could do that with hydraulics. I've had one hydraulic going that way. And then this hydraulic has to be to close the clamps. So I've only got I've only got four pieces left. They do only cost 10 though. I could get 15 of them. But yeah, let's buy a few of them then. And then with this wheel, can we... Yeah, we can change these to different buttons. So let's just do, I don't know, T and Y. So we've ended... <laughs> What have we ended up with? We've ended up with this sort of thing. Now, it might look absolutely mental. Uh, however, I think it might work. Might being the keyword. Oh man, this beam is a lot bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> anyway, let's lower that down and then give that a grab. Oh no, 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 no. Right, first things first, we've got to extend this hydraulic out that way. That's key to this. Then we can grab that. Then we can raise, oh, we sort of raised it. Not really, not quite enough. Anyway, that might work, that might work. Because what I'm thinking here is if I spin my wheel, oh man, that has got power, that has got power. So that wheel is going, then I can swap to that hydraulic and sort of bring it a bit closer. I was sort of hoping the beam might go on top of it. What if I ram it on? There we go. There we go. Right. T. T. Move it. I was hoping to get the weight like more over my actual thing, but that might actually be okay. I mean, I could sort of try and ram it on a bit further. Oh, no. I just rammed it off. All right. Sod it. This will do. Let's get this back home. So we've got to go down this... <laughs> How is this working? It's actually working. I'm a genius. We do need to dodge these rocks though. And there's a lot of weight at the back. I can literally... Uh, I can feel badness. I'm not very in control. Dodge those rocks. Oh god. Oh god. No, no, no. Rocks, rocks, rocks. We went straight over the rocks. Nice. All right. Then we just carry on this way. And somehow this is actually working. Oh my goodness. That was a big rock. But yeah, there's the crane. That's where we've got to get it to. Let's go left between these two rocks sort of ah uh, right there we go between those and then over to here and then i assume oh, i've just missed it i assume this is gonna allow like the building to continue being built right oh don't say it has to go vertically it doesn't oh are you actually kidding me game it has to go vertically oh god okay how are we gonna do that how are we gonna do this oh i know actually looking at the beam i feel like i've done this a very stupid way surprisingly i think all i gotta do if i delete back to like there Get rid of that wheel and that. And I can literally just shove a servo there, right? And then another block. And then just a claw like that. I mean, I might need to make the claw longer, but I feel like that could work. Depending on if we have the power or not. So basically, we just got to shove our thing in that hole. That's what she said. Another good one. You're on fire. And then we should be good. Get it in there. Get it in. There we go. Right. Now we give it a twist that way. Oh, look at that. That's way easier. Why did I do that to start with? There's me coming up with like a wheel and stuff. And we're in. We are in. Oh, look. Here's the building being made. I helped make this. Oh, I don't think it's finished yet. I don't think it's finished. We got a new contract. Oh, it's a telescope. So we've got to go get the telescope mirror. Nice. Now that involves going that way. And looking at these contours, that involves going down a steep hill. So it's all the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It's all the way down there. Oh, look how steep this is. This is so steep. Uh, oh, no. Oh, I got some air. I got some air. Stay on track. Stay on track. That's it. Recovery. Recovery. Look at the speed. Oh, man. This game's so cool. It's like so good looking as well. I'm absolutely... I'm loving this. Anyway, now we jump into this building. Reverse in. And we've got to, we've got to try and pick that up somehow. Okay. Okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. I think we go with a similar concept. I'm sort of thinking we do a hydraulic there. And then if we come out and go up like that, how does a hydraulic fit? Oh yeah, that is good. That is good. So for this one, I'm doing like inside out claws. Oh man, I didn't, I didn't realize how, I didn't realize how tall this thing was. Okay, so like this, if we can get both of these claws in, which we can't. Okay, I think, I think we need a bit of rotation, don't we? Like forward and backwards. Now sadly, I don't think there's a way to like replace parts. I think you have to delete everything you've got. So annoyingly, you're gonna have to delete that. But yeah, I want servo there. So now we've got something like this. So if I if I just rotate that forwards, then we can shove that in there quite nicely. But we want it to go a bit further forwards. So let's do a bit of that. And then we can make that go a bit wider just so we catch all of it. And then twist that up. All right, and then we just got to drag this back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the telescope would be fine getting dragged about in all the dust and stuff. I mean, to be fair, I could... Yeah, that's that was my original intentions. Try and, like, wedge it in the air. 
Oh goodness. All right, here we go. Here we go. This is actually this is actually quite good. Let's just close that a bit. All right, this actually this is actually working. This is actually working. <laughs> so we just got to try and not hit too many rocks as we try and get up this hill. Oh god, it's steep. It is steep. If I if I lean the servo forward and my weight is sort of forward as well. Okay, this could work. This could work. I think power. Just power. Oh, no. Mind the edge. Mind the edge. Oh, no. No. All right, actually, to that. I think that's actually what I wanted to do. Just hold it like that a little bit. Yes, that's actually... That was my original intention. Oh, really? How I've got hold of this now, sort of, is what I wanted to do. And it is working. It's like, it's just above the ground. And we've just about got the power to get up here. Have we? Please don't go down there. Please don't go down there. Yes, we're up. We we dropped the mirror, but we're up. All right, so now where do we where do we actually take this? Oh, re you're joking. Up there? How are we going to get up there? Hang on, is this, is this a lift? Oh, there's a lift. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be a lift then. Oh, look at this game. Look at this game. I'm very glad the sun is up. It looks a lot better than nighttime. But look, we're in. Yes. And then the telescope tower is being built. The observatory, I guess we should call it. Look at that. Very strong. The two dong observatory, I'll name this. Nice. But yeah, that is it for the demos. That's pretty much everything you can do in it. I mean, you can you can buy like more parts and stuff until your balance runs out, but then there's no more missions, so you can't get any more. And yeah, you can probably you can probably see what I spent my money on. <laughs> oh, oh god, oh god, it fell over. But yep, so I've done just that. I've spent my money on some very efficient engineering. Um, and it's only gonna get more efficient. <laughs> there, there it goes. <laughs> Oh, what, what a game. What a game. Right. Anyway, guys, that was Mars First Logistics. Uh, I think the demo came out today, so go check it out. Add it to the old watch list. But yeah, very much looking forward to playing this. Uh, it's, it's also multiplayer as well. But yeah, anyway, guys, I'll say peace, love, and efficient engineering. Bye, guys.